What is going on everyone? Back with another video to the 180 tank series, I guess you'd say. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Voila! There we go. The 180 is up and running. I uh, did not make a video on the sump at all of putting it together, the baffles. Or maybe I did, I don't, I don't remember at this point anymore. But uh, yeah, it's up and going. Pump's all working. I have it running about halfway right now. There is some uh, crap in there. One, because I took the FX4 off the 125 and put all the media in there, along with these two massive bags of unused media. I used one of these. They're, they're just like fruit bags to keep the fruit fresh. I have that hanging on the pipe there. I just got this all running yesterday. Put these two heaters in for now. I'm going to bring the big Eheim from the 125 to put it in here but just from last night till about four o'clock today when I got home the tank is already at 77 degrees so but anyway all that stuff you see at the bottom is all the loose waste which there's a lot down here but it is up and running I will be having a friend come over tonight so maybe he'll hold the camera maybe not not too sure yet but my goal is to get these fish in that tank tonight and as you can see, I already removed the FX4, like I said, to get the filter media out, just to get that tank jump started. I did test the water. This tank, as it sits, the nitrates are kind of high, even though I just changed the water two, three days ago. Uh, other than that, ammonia, nitrite, good. On this tank, tested it on the new 180. The ammonia is just a little bit high. It's at 0.25 ppm or however that goes for ammonia but everything else is perfect for now i'm sure i'll have to change some water here in a day or two once these guys get in there but uh i'm gonna rip this fx6 apart to put more media in the tank which it'll get nasty again but i'm gonna get the fish in there first before i do that and then show the ending of all that just so you can see how nasty the water gets from all this media the FX4, I cracked open and maintained it, cleaned it, whatever you want to say, probably about four to five months ago. But uh, I wanna, if I remember right, I have not opened this FX6 up since I've installed it on this tank. So it's probably going to be pretty nasty. So uh, yeah, see what happens. All right, everyone, the move did not really go according to plan. All the big fish are in there. The uh, catfish is pretty stressful. He did kind of hurt himself a little bit in the net. Uh, I have this giant rubber net, and uh, where is it at? I actually had to cut a few spots because one of his fins got stuck in the net right here, and I had to cut it so he could get released from the net. And also the clown knife from the 125 scooping him out. He splashed water halfway across the room, but they are all in there now. The clown knife and the catfish are definitely acting stressed, weird. The gar's fine. He already ate. There is some tilapia sitting in there. I'll probably scoop it out tomorrow. Uh, but yeah. They are all in there. The catfish is, I don't know if I can get it without the glit. Nope. Oh, all right. <laughs> catfish is kind of messed up. That one fin, I noticed he has some red spots on him. Hopefully he's okay. Oh, I guess it isn't red spots. It's from the light. All right. Well, that you can see it there. That fin's pretty messed up. Part of his tail fin's a little messed up. He was laying at the bottom for quite a while and then him and the clown knife touched and he about launched himself out of the tank so I have some precautionary measures. I have rocks on top of all this wood. Hopefully nothing happens. Hopefully they're fine. He has been just sitting up there so I don't know what's going on. The clown knife's just been sitting in this corner. I did add some stress coat, hopefully that helps. And the water is very cloudy again. 
I apologize for that, but I had to get more media in the... I didn't have to, probably, but I wanted to use all the media from my FX6 too, which my friend did come over. We didn't record. I'm glad we didn't because the catfish was kind of a mess getting him in the tank. Uh, I will say this again, like I said to him, if these fish get moved anywhere else other than the gar, he's fine. I can grab him with my hands and he doesn't fight. But these two, I if I move them again, they're either going to a bigger home or the pool when that gets set up, and that's going to be their final spot. That catfish is miserable to move. But, uh, yeah, I actually gave my friend some of the media to put in his 210 with a 40-gallon sump so he can get his tank cycled up. But everything is moving. It's done. I did add the air stone, hopefully to help the catfish out, get some air in there. And I removed that white filter sock thing I had on there. And that's also creating a lot of oxygen. Got the big Eheim in there. So everything is going, finished, somewhat according to plan. Not really. The catfish, like I said, put up a big struggle, which that sucked. But yeah, there they are.